Hi, my name is Saleh Qasemi and I'm a database specialist solutions architect for Amazon Timestream. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to collect, store, and analyze data for DevOps workloads using Amazon Timestream, Telegraph, and Grafana. Telegraph is an open source plugin driven server agent for collecting metrics for various systems, including servers, containers, databases, and queues. And we have developed Timestream Output Plugin for Telegraph to enable customers ingest their time series data that is coming through Telegraph and represented in InfluxDB line protocol into Amazon Timestream without changing any application code. Now let's have a look at the architecture and see different components. On the left, you see different sources generating events and time series data. Telegraph Input Plugins would deliver the metrics to Telegraph and then Timestream Output Plugin would convert the metrics from Telegraph model to Timestream model and writes them to Amazon Timestream. You can then query the data directly in Amazon Timestream or use a tool like Grafana to interact with the data. For this demo, I'll set up Telegraph on three EC2 instances to collect CPU and memory utilization metrics. And in addition, I'll set up and run a sample Python application that continuously estimates the number pi and sends that along with the iteration number as metrics to Telegraph. We're going to create three tables in Amazon Timestream for the metrics coming from memory, CPU, and the sample application. And finally, we look at all these metrics in a Grafana dashboard. Timestream Output Plugin is available for Telegraph version 1.16 and above. Uh, there are also a few options to customize the behavior of the plugin, and the two that I'd like to highlight here are database name and uh, mapping mode. Database name would tell the plugin which Amazon Timestream table to store the records in. Mapping mode would tell the plugin how to transform the records from line protocol in Telegraph to records in Amazon Timestream. The acceptable values for mapping mode are multi-table and single table. Let's look at the differences with an example. Here we have some data in line protocol where weather and air quality are our measure names. Location and season are tags and our fields are temperature, humidity, NO2 and PM25 to represent air pollution. In multi-table mode, this data would be represented in two tables, weather and air quality. And you can see how the rest of the elements are mapped. We would have dimensions for location and season, and the fields become our measure, measure names. Now, what if we specify single table as mapping mode in the plugin? In that case, data would be written to a single table, and you would need to specify two additional parameters. One would be table name to use in time stream to store the data, and second, would be a dimension name to store line protocol measurement names, which in this example are weather and air quality. And as you see, here we have specified that measure name to be namespace. Then similar to multi-table mode, season and location tags become dimensions and fields become measure, measure names in time stream. With that, let's start the demo. As the first step, I'm going to create a database and the three tables that we need. So I'm going to database section, create database. I'm going to call it Telegraph Demo. And then I'm going to create three tables for our metrics. The first one would be CPU. I'm going to specify 24 hours of retention for in memory and seven days of retention for magnetic store. Second table would be for memory, same retention periods. And the third table is going, going to hold uh, sample app metrics. So I'm just gonna call it sample app with the same retention periods. And now we're ready to move on to install Telegraph. There are multiple ways you can install Telegraph. You can um, go to the GitHub repository page and from there, there are links to downloads or the releases section where you can find different uh, packages for different operating systems, or you can use um, Homebrew to install uh, Telegraph. I'm going to use Homebrew 
So I'm going to my EC2 machine and um, I'm going to install Telegraph. I'm going to verify the version for this after installation just to make sure it's uh, greater than 1.16. It is, that's great. Uh, now we can generate the sample config file with the right input and output plugins. Um, here you see I'm uh, basically generating a sample config file for CPU and memory input plugins and time stream output plugin. This would generate the sample.conf file and I can modify that to point it to the database that we just created. I'm going down to the bottom. I'm going to change this to the database that I created just now. And if I go down a little bit more, you see the mapping mode. Uh, now it's set to multi-table. That's what we want in this demo. And uh, to keep this simple, I'm going to comment out these lines here. We're going to save the file. And now we're ready to start a Telegraph agent. I'm going to point it to the config file that we just edited. And uh, I'm going to start it also in the background so I can go ahead and install my sample Python application. Now that this is started, I'll move on to the next section, which is uh, installing the Python application. I have already downloaded that uh, the Python application and I already have Python installed on this. Uh, but what we need to do, I'm going to create a, a virtual environment for Python first because we need libraries for that application. So I'm going to create a virtual environment called env and then activate it. That application, the sample application needs uh, InfluxDB uh, libraries because it's generating records in line protocol format. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install pip first. And then install InfluxDB libraries. And now that I have that, um, we can run the sample application. It takes two arguments. Uh, the server name and the port that InfluxDB or Telegraph Agent are listening on. Um, so Telegraph Agent is running on localhost and it's listening on port 8186. So I should be able to run this application now. All right, that is great. It's generating data. And now I can move on to the other two instances. So on the other two instances, I already have uh, Telegraph installed and the config file uh, modified uh, and the sample app installed. So all I'm gonna do is uh, start the Telegraph agent. All right, great. So all our three machines are sending CPU memory um, utilization to Telegraph as well as um, the iteration numbers and uh, the estimation for, for pi. So next we're gonna take a look at, uh, uh, look at this data in time stream and uh, Grafana. All right, now that we have our three EC2 instances set up, let's take a look at data in Amazon time stream and uh, Grafana. I'm going to go to query editor and uh, take a look at a sample of records in the CPU table. Um, okay, and the memory table. Going to look at some of the measures in the CPU table, some of the measures in the memory table. Okay, and how about sample app? 
we have two measures sending from the app, which is shown here. And let's take a look at some sample data from that. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go to Grafana. So I already have Grafana installed on this machine. Um, but if you're interested, we have another video specific to using Grafana with Amazon Time Stream, which you can find in the getting started section of Amazon Time Stream uh, website or in the tutorial section in the console. I already have my dashboard imported here. Um, so I'll click on it and uh, that would show me different metrics that I'm getting from, um, from Time Stream and ingested through Telegraph. So this top one is the last average Pi estimate, number of iterations that um, are coming from uh, different hosts, and uh, CPU utilization and memory utilization down below. And then the top right corner is the value of, uh, the estimated value of Pi um, over time. Uh, if I want, I can go and edit the query here, or um, I can also inspect the query we'll go to query and refresh and see the response and that concludes uh, our demo i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching